cycle has really been teaching me patience. And that's why for this month's womb ritual, I really wanted to focus on grounding. You see me doing a lot of breath work, a lot of releasing. And this is mainly because my cycle has really been teaching me like I have this want to always be on time and just here and doing that, which was causing like a lot of uproar this cycle. And spirit was just like, be patient, ground yourself. Know and understand that this is a time for you to nourish yourself, for you to pour into you. Even with my cycle being during a wanting crescent this period, which is a very powerful, innovative energy. This is a very prosperous, new opportunities energy. It's just someone who is walking into a lot of new things, a lot of new beginnings. So what I try to motivate other women to do, um, and this can definitely connect you to your cycle, connect you to your feminine energy. Pay attention to when your cycle is on, how long is it? Uh, the color of the blood actually communing with this power. A lot of times I feel like we get so caught up in the mundane way and approach to our cycles, like even with me free bleeding and now just being more free on my cycle, I am starting to be more connected to this energy rather than like, you know, cause sometimes it's like, oh, my cycle's about to come on. Ugh. You know, sometimes you get to feeling weird and mad and angry. It's like this time I open up a lot of space to be able to release, to be able to be grounded in myself, to take time. A lot of things that I was worrying and stressing about, like I let that just kind of just subside for a second, just taking care of myself. Your cycle is quite literally communicating to you, through you, and it's going to tell you everything that you need for yourself. In fact, some women experience painful cycles, painful cramps, right? So this is times where we're needing to open space to comfort our womb, comfort our womb space, open space to be able to release because in all actuality, when you're on your menstrual cycle, this is a period of release, right? So you want to do it with such ease right such um and this is why i even teach sensual energy because this is such a beautiful energy that teaches us to give ourselves pleasure you deserve pleasure you deserve all the good things in this life so taking the time to breathe taking the time to release has definitely been a very prominent thing for me this cycle i also feel more flowy this cycle like my last cycle was kind of uh, I was like ready for it to be kind of like gone, get out of here. But this cycle, I'm really been taking my time, being patient, grounding myself, knowing and understanding that it's a flow to this shit. You get what I'm saying? Like it is a menstrual flow. Just like life, you flow. So flow with it, have fun, you know, be, be rooted in pleasure, be rooted in joy. I'm not gonna make this much longer. I didn't want this video to be some long, drawn out thing but i did want to start sharing more of my rituals that i do on my cycle how i utilize the powers of my cycle oftentimes i do utilize my blood to give to the earth to give in my garden right so sometimes what i'll do is i have methods of catching my period blood of course you know you have so many different methods you have the cup now you got the regular just catch it while you're in the shower. There's so many ways to work with this power. I suggest any individuals who are looking into men menstruation magic and what our womb can teach us about ourselves and the power that we can unearth with this form of sacred medicine, sacred healing, is opening more space for this to be talked about, opening more space for this to be like a thing. Your, your menstruation is very powerful. Don't look at it as just like, Oh, here go my cycle again. You know, a lot of women get angry sometimes. A lot of women get mad, right? It's become this regular kind of like society has made this regular PMS kind of role aspect. And no one understand that doesn't have to be you. You know, paying attention to your emotions during your cycle. What is coming up? Why do you feel like that? Why do you think you feel like that? Really unearthing those questions. 
opening space to really see it as, hey, something is going on here spiritually. How can I open space to connect with this? There's something that is trying to be exposed here about myself, about the energy I have within my temple. So I just wanted to make this quick video to inspire other women to do the same, to connect more with that energy instead of just, you know, get on and put your stuff on and let's get over our cycle. Actually being more present and intentional with our menstruation cycles. Um, it's been teaching me a lot and I'm super, super grateful for this wisdom and I just wanted to share that with y'all. So if y'all feel like you've resonated with this video, if you feel like you two are getting more in depth with your menstruation, definitely comment below. Let me know. I love talking about things like this, other forms of magic, practical magic, because this is things, these are quite literally things, elements that are within us that we can utilize. and. I want to do on this channel is teach you all the many ways that you can create magic, that you can empower yourself, that you can manifest your heart's desires, right? So sending you all love. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, comment down below and let me know how you feel and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.